The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all. Let's get real. All right, tell us. I said, what's up? Everybody is. Uh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Cousin Novi. What's up? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the years go on. I'm, I'm glad to see, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad to see that he's with you. Yeah, he's home. Yeah, that's what's up. Everything All happens right. in cycles. All right, but it always turns out the way it's supposed to be. But um, check out check out my man Golden. The All right, send me a text because I'm getting Golden, flooded. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And yes, I'm your boy AT2. How everybody doing? How everybody living? How everybody feeling today? Um, I wanted to start you guys out with that clip first, you know, give you a little teaser of what I'm going to get into. Uh, but Jaguar, right, is reunited with her son. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing. I don't have any kind of joke or anything to say about it. I'm like dead serious. I think it's beautiful that she's with uh, her son. So um, I do want to say that. But let me go ahead and say what's up to the people before we get into it. Uh, what's up, Nikki? Thank you for coming. What's up, Wu Child? What's up, Wanda? What's up, Wendy Lucas? Shout out to my moderator. Um, who else we got up in here? W shout out to Vegas Girl. Okay, we got another moderator. And shout out to my members because y'all help keep the bills paid. Um, shout out to two of my members. Um, I don't know if they want me to say their name, but uh, one cashed at me yesterday and another one cashed at me uh, this morning. And I was all like, damn, I didn't even go live yesterday or I didn't go live earlier this morning and people still show me love. And so uh, thank you to those two. I do want to say that. What's up, Shauna? Yes, you are here. No replay here. No replay crew. We are live, baby. We are live. What's up, Tony? Shout out to everybody on Facebook. Shout out to Tony Street. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, we got Southern Belle up in the building. Uh, Jaguar was on live with her cousin. It was his birthday, so she went live on IG. Um, and then, you know, she said, hey, I got the whole crew here. And then that's when she showed her husband, and then she showed her son. And if you guys remember the surviving Jaguar right, uh, the Tasha K documentary, that was the one, uh, the son that was in the video because her other son unfortunately passed away. But that was the son in the video. And so I was like, wow. And let me tell you, it had me thinking because I was all like, no matter, okay, so we all say Jag is crazy, Jag is this, Jag is that, right? But did we have the right to interfere with her family life? I'm going to ask you guys that question one more time. Did we have the right to interfere with uh, with her family life? Granted, no, we didn't uh, necessarily go. We didn't do Tasha K and interview the family, but we watched it. I know I paid my 14. I think it was $14.99 to watch the exclusive. Yeah, I paid my $14.99 just like everybody else did. Um, and then I even did a review on it and I also inspired other people to review it too as well. I was the first to review it. I just want to say that, but, uh, you know, I, I reviewed it and people loved it. You know, we got views off of it. Jaguar was like this big phenomenon 
on YouTube and we all ate off of it, you know? So do I regret doing videos about it? No, because that would be fake and phony. But do I think that there's certain ways that I could have handled it to make it so that we weren't incriminating this woman and make it what's up naughty love thank you for coming incriminating this woman and you know granted she can be a horrible mother horrible this horrible that but does she have the right to be around her son and make amends and rebuild that relationship because i think her son's like well it's been a few years so he has to be like in his 20s now um but you know <laughs> thank you wendy thank you but now uh what's up patrice i'm glad you're here but now looking at it yeah you know we could talk about their relationship and how they should have been doing this and that but she has every right to be with her son and i'm just so happy because something like that that documentary could have destroyed their relationship forever i don't think we knew how powerful that was and like just everything that was going on at that time you know being reached out to different family uh family members i know family members friends reached out to me too as well and i always kept it professional and stuff like that um uh, for instance i still um appreciate wisdom i still follow her i think wisdom is dope as hell and sh all she did was tell her story um but did we have the right to really go deep into her family relationship? And then it, it was a lot going on at that time, you know? What's up, Beauty for Ashes? It was a it was a lot going on at that time. And nobody stopped and said, like, yo, maybe we should be trying to mend this relationship between her family. Because then it was put out there that she was um still uh do you want me to call Jag about your public apology? Yeah, yeah, Patrice, definitely. Um, definitely you can. I, I I'll be all for that. Um but did she deserve us to interfere with her family life? No, no. If you want to say, oh, she shouldn't be putting out the celebrity tea and all that stuff, yes, that's fair game, you know, because do I believe everything that Jack say about the celebrities and stuff like that? No, but does she hit on certain points? Yes. Um but for me, when it came to the family, that should have probably been left out. And I'm going to say this, too, as well. I've been seeing a lot of this YouTube stuff where people are reaching out to people's family members. Leave people family alone. And granted, say if one of the family members reached out to you. I totally get it. And you guys can be cool. You can be friends. Um, there's a YouTuber, a YouTuber, his brother sometimes come in my chat and stuff like that. And I'll be all like, oh, you know, what's up? You know, I'll shout him out and stuff like that. But you don't see me interviewing him. You don't see me all like, oh, yeah, let me uh, let's go ahead and dig up the dirt on him. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't do that. But, you know, I do have like a, a, I wouldn't say a friendship, an acquaintanceship with that person's family member. But as far as like to bring up a family dirt and stuff like that, I ju I'm just not going to do it. And no, uh, and don't say AT2, what if somebody interviewed your family? Nobody on my family wants to be a YouTube. My family is ashamed of me. They don't want me to do no damn YouTube. They want me to go ahead and get a regular nine to five. So no, they ain't gonna want to come on here and do an interview. So I'm not worried about my family. They ain't doing no interviews with nobody. So I'm not worried about my family. Oh, and by the way, if y'all like to drop a dollar too in the cash app, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I just text her. Uh, thank you, Patrice. I appreciate that. Um, and shout out to Patrice as well, because I remember when we were going heavy through the Jaguar right stuff, we were all like, Jaguars this, Jaguars right. And Patrice was all like, hey, 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 that's my friend. And, you know, I have a relationship with her and she's been nothing but respectful, nice. She cooked, she did this, she did that. And she was like, that person that y'all know, I don't know that person, but you know, this is my friend. And since then, me and Patrice have been cool. We've been popesthetic, copesthetic, all that. <laughs> so shout out to you, Patrice. I love you for that. Um, but it also speaks volumes too, because I think we get wrapped up in the character that is. So when we get wrapped up in the character, what I mean by that is that when we're YouTubers, right? However, we are low-end entertainers. And so 
when we do things, say things and stuff like that, most of the time it's for entertainment. You know, I'm just going to be honest. Most of the time it's for entertainment. There are times where I'm being real and being serious. And you know those times when I'm being real and being serious. But most of the time here, AT2 is the character that I am portraying on here. And so sometimes we, uh, when I look at Jag, I'll be like, you know what? She knew she had the people going and she was playing it up. Do I think she, uh, am I saying that I'm fake or that Jaguar is fake? No, I'm not saying that. But we all play up a character when we get on YouTube. And we're just on here boring like, nah, 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 nah. you want to watch the shit. You want us animated and doing all the extra shit. Y'all like y'all like the controversy. We playing it up. Let me keep on going. Uh, Keish said, uh, oh, I can read it on here. I always look over to the side what I can read on here. I'm happy her and her son have a good relationship. They are supposed to, uh, supposed to, sons love their moms. Boom. Jaguar was just angry and had issues in the industry and believe, right, 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 right. Definitely agree with that. And for those of you just joining, I'm going to play just a little snippet of her IG live just to show you guys. All right, tell cuz I said, what's up? Everybody is. Uh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Cousin Nosey. What's up? Hey, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. And the years go on. I'm, I'm glad to see, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad to see that he's with you. Yeah, he's home. Yeah, that's what's up. Everything All happens right. in cycles. All right, but do it always thing. turns out the way it's supposed to be. But um, check out check out my man Golden. The All right, send me a text something. Send All me a text right. something because I'm getting flooded. Yeah, his name stuff. is Bolden. Yeah, check him out. Will do. All right, love you. Love you. Right. And uh, to speak on that, because when I first seen it, uh, Laugh, Guys and Gossip, I was surprised, too. But then I remember, like, how many times do we get into it with our parents? You know, I know I get into it with my parents, not not like bad or anything like that, but I get into it with my parents all the time. And so when you think about it, you know, damn, like it's normal to get into it with your family, but yet necessarily you don't have it on TV or for instance, in this case, you two play out. When I have a disagreement with my mom, dad, whatever, you guys don't know about it unless I tell you. And so what's up, Dion? What's up, Marie? So when we get into it with our parents, you guys don't know that. But because this was played out for everybody, we knew about their relationship. So when you think about it, yeah, we go back and forth with our parents all the time and we still love them. It's the same with this situation. It just happened that it played out on YouTube. So I definitely think that it was a situation where it just it, it kind of happened the way it happened. But you could still tell that, yo, this mom has to love her son. You know, she has to love her son. Um, it's natural to get into it with your uh, young adult children. They think they have the world figured out. True, true. And I think also, too, it it was a thing where. He could have heard stuff. What's up, New York? Thank you for coming. He could have heard stuff and been like, oh, my mom's saying this. Well, let me speak out. You never know if he was really, because he didn't seem like he was really aware of everything going on on YouTube. It just seemed that, you know, they said, oh, his mom is talking out and saying this. Well, I'm I'm going a, I'm to a come out publicly and be like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not this or that. This is what the true story is. Right, right, right. Excuse me. The love is still, yeah, love is love. That is true. That is true. And I uh, think with also Jaguar, I think it was, and she, remember, we have to remember, she took a break. She just recently came back. There was, well, actually, there was a time period that she came back for like a couple of weeks and then she disappeared again. But she just recently came back. So there's a lot of stuff that's all like, OK, what's really been going on? And and I admit 
um, you know, Jag has been talking on different channels and stuff like that. Do I watch everybody else's channel? No. So maybe she did touch on this. But for me, this is the first time I've seen her talk about her son or, you know, we see him in the video. And obviously they're together. She said she was in Dallas and uh, and, you know, she's in Texas right now. So she did tell us that. It seemed like Swiss cheese version Tasha K was trying to present. Mm. And, you know, and to speak on that, they always said Tasha K. Tasha K knew Alicia Keys or Swiss Beats mom. She knew somebody mom. And that's why she wanted to do an interview with her. And then that went south. And so, so it was a lot with the backstory with that, too. We were just the pawns watching the shit. We loved it. I ain't gonna lie and say I didn't love it. I loved the shit. It was entertaining. I didn't know anything about the way YouTube work. It was just entertainment. Uh, where's the ex-husband now? He can't keep uh, their son away now. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. That That is a very good question. Like, where is he in, in this now? Uh, we all get into it sometimes with family members. We can talk about them. Um, talk about them but that no one else do it right i'll put us <laughs> right we can talk about our family but you can't yeah you right about that you are so right about that oh and make sure you guys hit that like button too i always forget that hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and press all um also if you'd like to drop a dollar to hit the cash out paypal venmo or drop a super chat super sticker but yeah you can talk about, no, I can talk about my family, but you can't talk about my family. You know, there's a difference. Um, hopefully the relationship with her mom is good. Um, I do hope, I do hope that because there was stuff saying about the mom and she was controlling everything. So hopefully the relationship with the mom is good. Um, even shit, I'll even go as far as say, hell, hopefully the relationship with her ex-husband is at least good, you know, where they can be like, hey, how you doing? And then move on, you know, hopefully their relationship is good like that. Sometimes, sometimes I have a good relationship. Necessarily, you don't need to talk to somebody. They can be like, hey, bye, you know, a hey, bye situation. You don't have to have a deep conversation or anything like that. Oh, and by the way, out my Reno cup, I'm drinking eggnog. That's what I'm drinking. <laughs> right. It played on in public. Okay. So with that being said, I do have to give the other side of the coin. Because uh, with Jaguar, she did call CPS on Tasha K. So, <laughs> because we we can't just we can't just say all the good things without saying the other side of the story. I gotta be fair. I'm a journalist. Remember, I'm a journalist. We gotta be fair. But you know, reached out to uh, remember it was on my show when she said the husband was twerking on another man. And so <laughs> Jaguar got the she got the people going. I swear, I swear, I love it. But yeah. Um, the, the CPS thing, like, should you be calling CPS on a woman? No, definitely not. That was definitely wrong. Now, would I do a documentary on somebody who called CPS on me? I don't know about that, but I would want some kind of revenge. Or was it, uh, or was it not even that? Was it that no matter if Jag did call, was she still going to, uh, uh do the documentary? Because somebody brought up the, uh, not the, the uh, Swiss beach, uh, beach, uh, beats. Uh, did Tasha K call protect? Oh, I heard about that. See, I'm not too familiar with Sweet Ma, but I did hear that she did do that as well, too. Damn, y'all just stop calling CPS and stop calling people mama and daddy and grandpa and kids and stuff. Just like, damn, leave CPS alone and leave people family alone. <laughs> Jag gonna always be Jag, right. Uh, she called because of what uh, was saying on uh, Clubhouse about Jag overstepped. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for the backstory on that. Yo, these people off the hook. <laughs> uh, yeah, putting people's skin in jeopardy is wrong. Uh, that's going to be right, 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 right. 
Yeah, and I and you know what? I didn't even think about the other side of that too. Yeah. So I think, you know, they both were kind of going at it. We were kind of just the spectators, you know, watching and like, ooh, 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 what's next? What's next? Um, y'all, that was a time right there. That was a time. Um I think also too, Jag will probably never admit it, but I think that she was very hurt by what was going on. Can you imagine you just chilling, right? And you see your name because let me let me tell you, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Whenever somebody says AT2 in a title of their video, I get nervous. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I get nervous, I get anxiety, my chest start tightening up. Whenever I see my name in a video, I'm like, oh, this shit ain't gonna be good. I, that, that's the way I feel. So just imagine there's like over a thousand videos about you. Jack, 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 Jack. It's going to give you some kind of anxiety seeing that shit. Like you're going to be all like, yo, what the fuck is going on? You are going to have a natural reaction and be like, what the fuck is going on? And why is everybody talking about me? You know, you are naturally going to think that. Because shit, it, it nothing ever prepares you when you in somebody in the title of somebody video, especially when it all like, um, I'm a drag AT2 or AT2 is this, AT2 is that. You just kind of go like, oh, here we go again. Now, now me in uh, now, even though it still gives me anxiety, now I can laugh at it because I get the game. I know what people do and I know how. Uh, YouTube works and stuff like that. I totally get it. Now I capitalize off the situation, but somebody who probably wasn't used to this whole YouTube shit, because Jack kind of just got on here and she just kind of would ramble and stuff like that. She didn't know how to, oh, let me structure my show like this or do that because she wasn't even using her own YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel, she would just uh, put her live shows and shit that she did. But like the celebrity tea and gossip and all that stuff, she didn't put that on her channel. So no one really helped her how to. And that's another thing, too. I think a lot of people were just um they used it but no one was actually trying to help her they used her but no one tried to help her like no one tried to say like no this is how you do it and this is how you can grow your channel and you do that because there is no way in hell that jack should not have over 100k 100k subscribers there's no way in hell just like remember kwame brown when the situation with him happened kwame brown capitalized off of it now he's at like 300k or something like that um i think now you know he's in controversy and shit like that which happens but um remember when kwame brown first hit the scene kwame brown hit the scene he had his youtube channel and it blew up the same thing should have happened for Jag. Whoever was closest to her at that time should have been like, hey, oh, let me fix my shirt real quick. Should have been like, hey, let me let me help you out and let me show you how to really make money and really capitalize off of this. And I know and, and I know on the other side, I know Jack said that she didn't want to uh, really be a part like she didn't want. The, it wasn't about the money and stuff like that for her, you know. But they did eat a lot off of her. Right, right, right. You're right, Patrice. Yeah, they ate off of it. And maybe those people were all like, yo, I don't want you to have your own YouTube channel. Like, I want you to come on my channel and say all this shit. So then I get the clicks and views and all this stuff. Because even, even they could have did it like this. They could have did it like this. Hey, Jack, come on my channel, blah, blah, blah. And then we go on your channel and then we finish out the rest of the, like there should have been some kind of partnership where they helped her out and it was more strategic, you know? She fed a lot of people. Y'all owe her a Christmas gift, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good. See, see, see. Sparing the wealth. Sparing the wealth. That's how you do it. At least, at least, you know, send me something. S send her a couple of pennies or something, you know, like, because we we did eat off of her. And I'm including myself off of that, too. You know, even though I wasn't close to her or anything like that, I, I reported on it. I did videos about it. Hell, that's how I got to 4,000 subscribers within two months. 
I got to 4,000 subscribers in two months. And I'm not, I'm never going to say, oh, if it wasn't for Jag, I wouldn't have got there. I would have got there eventually. But, you know, I can't say that, oh, if I didn't do A, B, and C, then I wouldn't be at this level. Like, I have to give credit where credit is due. I know what stories and what things got me popping and got me relevant. I always shout people out when it's deserved, you know? <laughs> that was a classic. That was one of the funniest moments ever. That was funny as shit. Like, I... <laughs> Yo, and I didn't realize that I barely said anything but two words in that video when she was going on. <laughs> like, I was like, I remember I was like, I was like, welcome, Jaguar Wright. And then I went like this. I went, the whole video. <laughs> and then, you know, I didn't realize people were like, hey, can I can I play your video? Can I use a little bit of that video? And I was like, yeah, sure. So what people were doing, what people were doing was taking that video, that clip of me getting cussed out and stuff like that. They would take it and like upload the whole thing instead of just like a little clip and saying like, hey, go to this person's channel and watch it. They would take like that whole clip and put it on their channel. I was all like, ain't this some shit? Which now I don't even care. You know, you do what you want to. God has blessed me, so I can't even be mad at it. But, you know, I felt like I fed a couple of people, too. At least I could have got some Christmas gifts or some shit like that. <laughs> right. It was hilarious, wasn't it? Man, that was a time right there. I need to do a TikTok and, like, recreate it. That's what I need to do. Oh, here, Patrice. Hold on. Let me let her on. Hey, friend, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm blessed. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. And thank you. I appreciate that you are making a public apology for whatever misunderstanding that went down and happened. Uh, you know, when Jaguar came on here, you, you know, people have to understand. It's like you said. At that point in time, everybody was coming at Jag. Everybody was accusing her of lying about a lot of things. And no matter, you know, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent about people's opinion, for the most part now, a lot of things people are seeing that has come to fruition, what Jag has said about certain people, right? Mm -hmm. And certain situations. So looking at the fact that a lot of bloggers and YouTubers and content creators all over social media and their platforms ate really, really good off a of jag let's just we right. got to be real about it we got to keep it a buck a lot of a lot of content creators like you said subscribers went up yours included you know what i mean so when jag came up people have to understand you know everything was triggering her she was very stressed during that time she was going through a lot right and we just happened to see it a lot publicly right on social media but jag's intent was never to uh, gain mon monetarily off of what went down. She was hurt and angry about how her friend Malik B was treated after he was a founder of the Roots. So let's be clear about that. So when yeah. when he was mistreated a certain way, and you know that was her friend, and that hurt her, and that made her angry, and then that's what triggered her to come on social media and talk about a lot of things. Right. So right. People have to look at where she was, and that's why she had to pull back because it was just too much. You know, it was too much going on. The whole, you know, tox Tasha K thing, the whole toxic diet. It was just a lot, you know. And I'm glad my friend pulled back on that, right? Because right. she to and get together mentally herself and physically and spiritually, and she's in a good place now. And we all get into it with our family, right? I'm one of them. Like, look, I go at it with my family. <laughs> We call each other name, but, but baby, don't you dare. Don't you dare, because, see, I'm going to hand you some, see, right. because we can do it as family members, but we, we ain't letting nobody else do it. So people got to understand that her life do, at that time was being a public display on social media where people, you know what I'm saying, saw uh, family members get into it. But we got to be real. She's in, you know, she she's in a good place. She got good relationship going with her son. And I'm so grateful and happy for her for that. And her mother yeah. as well. Right. 
So all is going well for her. And when she's ready, which she's soon going to be, you know, doing her thing on her platform and, you know, where she's going to monetize her concerts and her performances and things like that. I'm glad she's in this place, you guys, because you have to realize just what a lot of toxic energy you know, that was coming her way a lot of times and she had to pull back from that. But I want to say right. personally, at, at you know, as her friend, somebody that rocks with her, broke bread with her, I interviewed her, but it was totally, totally different. Everybody was eating off of, off of Jag during that time. So as her friend, right. you know, I want to thank you for making a public apology because a lot of people that was coming at her sideways, they ain't going to do that. And they right. realize now that a lot of stuff that she was saying was true and they know they was wrong for the way they was coming at her, but they ain't going to do it. People got too much pride. So for you to, you know, to do this and I did text her, you know, so hopefully thank her, you. you know, hopefully she's watching, you know, thank you so much for just, you know, just doing that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, because like I said, at the end of the day, um, it was a time period. It happened. I'm over it. I think everybody else should be over it. Like, let's let's go ahead and move on. And like this woman didn't deserve a lot of the stuff that was going on. And especially um, I think now that it's so prevalent, like with the bullying thing, because that was a form of bullying. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, like feeling like the world is ganging up on you. Like, that's hard. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, you know, and that's what a lot of it was, you know, because this is the thing, right? We hate mm -hmm. to hear, we hate to hear bad news or we hate to hear bad things about artists that we love, right? And that's what was happening. We was hearing her say a lot of things about her experience, about how a lot of artists in the industry is, the things that they've done to people, the things they've done to her. And she spoke her story and nobody can take her story away from her. But the thing was, right. it is we act like we know these people on a personal level. You're fans of these people. You don't know mm -hmm. them in real life, in real time. So you don't know how they are for real, for real. But when you got somebody that that was in that space that does that had friendships with people like Jill Scott and so forth. It is what it is. She's telling her truth. So, yeah, it was, it, you know, people want to it's it's like, you know, uh, she lying about Mary J and she lying about Jill and she lying about Alicia and she lying about like, were you there? I mean, she was there. Were you? Right. That's right. Much, right. So when you look at it in retrospect, she had every right to speak her truth, to say what she needed to say, to get it all out for the things that happened to her in the industry. And it's real talk. She has said some things that have come to fruition. And I'm not saying everybody got to believe everything she said or whatever. I'm not saying that. But just mm -hmm. check out the things that she have said that have come true that she have spoke on about people in the industry. And that should be the bottom line for people. And to know that she's in a better place. She fell back. She had to regroup mentally, spiritually, physically. And 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 all is well with her and her family now. And that should all, you know, that should all right. that matter to people if they really give it. Right. Exactly. That's all that matters that her and her family are now good and they at peace, you know. I definitely agree with that. But Patrice, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate you so much. No problem. You are so welcome. And I hope if she's not listening now that she will, you know, she will listen. I did text her. So hopefully she'll listen and, and she'll appreciate the apology. And uh, things will be uh, copacetic between you and her as well. Yes, definitely. Thank you for coming on. No problem. Always good to talk to you, AT2. Take care. You too. Your chat. All right. <laughs> I love Patrice. She's she has like a wealth of knowledge and she's just a cool person. What's up, Nadi? How you doing? <laughs> hey AT2, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm good. You missed a good panel on Saturday Night Live. We missed you. Yeah, <laughs> I know I had a chance to catch the replay. I was <laughs> like, damn, I hate that I missed it. But uh <laughs> go ahead and sound off. Yeah, no, you know what? I really appreciate you stepping up and, and being man enough to apologize when mm -hmm. you're wrong. Um, because I really felt like Jaguar was done wrong. And as her friend said, like, regardless of whether anybody believes her or not, um, that was her experience. That was her truth. But I really felt like she was exploited because she wasn't aware of how YouTube worked. And I hated that. 
to go down. So God is good though, because I was so happy to see her back with her son and get yes. her to a good place. And I felt like it was a good thing that she took a break. You know what I mean? Because meantime, Tasha K was proven to be a liar. You know and what I mean? Know what the, and you know what the crazy part is? Is that when she left, it was kind of like, what's some of y'all going to talk about? Because after she left, a lot of people died off. Like, there's a few people, like me and some other people, that stayed around. But when she left, a lot of people channel died off. And it was all like, damn. <laughs> and that's when I learned how dirty YouTube and can get. Yeah. <laughs> watching it, that all go down it made me scared like wow like you you really have to be careful what you how close people get to you and things like that but i think tasha k owes her apology you know to be quite honest and um storm but um <laughs> well she well she won't and she won't even take accountability for the cardi b stuff and that's four me that's causing her four million dollars i don't think she really care yeah but i just want to say like i'm looking forward to her her glow up i feel like she has a lot of jewels and gifts that she could share with the world and i'm excited about her um new podcast coming and things like that and hopefully she'll have like control yeah. of all of that and People won't come in and try to infiltrate and, and diminish her message. I mean, yeah, because I think another thing, too, just like you said, it was so many people coming in and stuff like that. It was like, who are these people, Jack? Like, why are you letting these people? These people aren't good. And then you would hear things. And it's so all like, no, she needed the right team around her to really help her, you know? I think she's getting into the right circles now. So I'm looking forward to the glow up 82. That's all I have. I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you as always. And I'll be there next Saturday. I promise. I'll see you around 82. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a good one. You too. Uh, she is so dope. I love her too. Oh, and oh, and thank you for the cash up last weekend. I appreciate that. Uh, by the way. And what's up, Michelle? Thank you for coming. Our cousin Stephanie was here. Leanne is here. What's up, y'all? Um, but y'all, basically, that's all I had to say. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the show right here. Uh, thank you guys for checking it out. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Also, uh, make sure to hit that notification bell. If you want to uh, drop a dollar to either hit the super, well, you can't do the super chat anymore once it ends, but the cash out, PayPal, Venmo, all that good stuff. What's up, Jack? Thank you for coming. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, oh, also, I'm still, somebody asked me the other day, am I still doing YouTube classes? Yes, I am still doing YouTube classes. Hit me up in the DM, AT2 underscore for real on IG or email me, AT2 book, uh, AT2 entertainment booking at gmail.com. Y'all know all that good stuff, but we out of here, y'all. Deuces. And every time I get ready to play the commercial, it never works, damn it. Thank you.